Hi, I'm David the Bruce. This is Steal This Show, and today we celebrate a wonderful animator, Bob Clampett, or Robert Clampett, as he's some, sometimes known in the credits of cartoons that run by. Do you know uh, Porky Pig? I know you do. He designed him. Do you, do you, Tweety, you remember Tweety Pie, the little canary in a birdcage? He designed him, yeah. So Bob Clampett, he, he's, he's an American original. He's, he's just known for great work. Today, the cartoons that he either animated or directed are now considered classic. And today, on today's show, we are going to show you four of them. And boy, I got to tell you, these are really, these are really good. Let me tell you a little bit about Bob Clampett. He was born, let me get the date right, 1913. He died in 1984. Good long life. He started um, to animate right, right out of school. He just went to work right away in Hollywood. Actually, he was born not too far from Hollywood. And uh, so just out of high school, he starts to animate animating and um, uh, soon he was doing the Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies and um, those of you who know about cartoons know about Looney, Looney Tunes yes you do and you know about Merry Melodies and that's where he got to start and um, he then um, um, oh and I must say that many of those cartoons that he did for what is now Warner Brothers are now considered American classics classics. I mean, you, if, if you're into animation, you know Bob Clampett. You just know his name. Right in there with Tex Avery and Chuck Jones and all the others. In 1949, he uh, turned from at doing animation to doing Muppets, puppets, hand puppets. And he was doing the Muppets before the Muppets by about two decades. He had a television show called Time for Beanie. Started in 1949. Did I say that? And then uh, later, he started Beanie and Cecil, which ran on, which was an animated version of his uh, Muppet type show on ABC, running from 1962 to 1967. And uh, I, I remember uh, those cartoons. They, they were just, I like, I really liked them. And I, I wish I could find them. They would, they would just still be good today. He um, toured college campuses towards the end of his life and lectured on uh, the history of animation. He's just a real lover of animation. So today we present four of his best, including Private Snafu. Let's take a look. I'm David the Bruce. I'm in a streak of hard luck. Say, Hootman, what are you doing in that grand car? I belong in it. I got myself a master now, see? Three square meals a day. No more bumming around the streets for me. All I gotta do is wag my tail and make out I'm glad to see him when he comes home. Then it's nice doggy this and nice doggy that. That's a cinch. That sounds very good. But how did you manage to put it over in the first place? 
Well, one day, I determines to get me a master. So I goes to a ritzy district, way over on Park Avenue, where all of them swell penthouses is, through the fancy entrance, up to the top floor of a classy apartment house, and I rings at one of the doors. Who in the weak world can that be? Every time I get into the, the, the tub, that darn bell rings. <laughs> it, 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 it never fails. <laughs> Hello, bub. Hey, I got a preposition for you. Look, you ain't got no dog, and I ain't got no master. What do you say we gets together? You know, let's moige. Here, try me for size. And I'm affectionate, too. Where are we going? Bye-bye? I'm uh, sorry, but I don't want a dog. Well, uh, that's that. tricks to, you know, sit up, roll over, even play dead. Hey, watch me make like rigor mortis. And I'm very affectionate, too. without love, love without you, that does it, this is the end. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Poor thing. Gosh, I didn't know you cared. I'm a bad boy. That's all, folks.
I'll dig and dig and dig and dig, I'll never get enough. I twamp the prairies and the plains, I twudge each weary mile. I'll twamp and twudge and twudge and twamp until I make my pile. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm gonna dig up lots of gold, V for victory. Hi, neighbor. Oh, hello. I'm a wagon, wagon, wubber of the wild and woolly west. Of all the things I haven't got, I white go the best. Oh, it rained all night, the day I wept, the weather is so dry. It was so warm, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm gonna get me lots of gold before victory. Good evening, friends! Hey, there's something awfully screwy going on around here. Well, one of the strangest things, I... Hey, smart boy. That's that schooly rabbit. Oh, well. Plenty of you men wear one of these. That's the last score. I'll get that wabbit. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc, where are you? 
I don't have to worry about no booby traps. to the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every gate. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own.
Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? Get me out of here! <laughs> And so, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Same thing.